Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygonmatic. In this video we want to focus only on the short term because not too much happened since my video yesterday. But this is uh, getting interesting now at the moment. So in the very short term we can see that Matic is currently struggling with resistance. The resistance area I gave you seems to be um, respected by Matic. So we've got here the um, area between 66 and 71 cents. Yeah, when Matic tried to break above the ideal target for a wave 4, which is the 38.2 Fib level. Um, but again, resistance goes up to 71 in a wave 4. Um, but price tried to break through, got, well, got rejected here, got rejected here on Monday quite strongly and got rejected again here on Tuesday. So three times, three rejections and so far it's struggling to push through. But there's of course a little bit of upside pressure. However, at the moment, the move to the upside, in my opinion, looks corrective also here the last wave up looks corrective and as long as price doesn't break above at least 71 cents but better would be 79 i cannot um i cannot confirm that a low has been made here on the matic chart okay uh, the idea is um and we can sort of lean towards the same count that we showed on the ada chart that this year is producing a WXY correction. So this could be a wave W to the upside, an X wave, and this could be a Y wave, or even, and that might be more adequate actually, an A wave to the upside, a B wave, and the C wave as an ending diagonal. But it doesn't really make a difference. Certainly you can interpret um, both structures here, and the different, different interpretations are possible. Um, and um, the strong rejection, I mean, you, you can't really count the waves in this sort of tiny move to the downside here. But the move up was corrective afterwards. It was quite a strong rejection. And it is at least possible to assume that this could be a small wave 1 to the downside of wave 5. This could be a wave 2. And now we are heading down in the 3rd, 4th and 5th. And this could be the small 1-2 setup of the 3rd wave. Now this is really micro, micro counting and I cannot really confirm that this is what is unfolding until price breaks below the wave one low, which is at 61.6 cents. So to really follow this path to the downside and it's at this stage, not more than just a simple roadmap here, okay? Uh, let me just bring that across. So for price to follow through here, it would really need to give us some confirmation by breaking below the wave one low at 61.6 cents. If this is the case, then the target for the third wave there to the downside would be typically the 1.618 Fibonacci extension of the wave one. So we talk about 56.9 cents at least. Then we should get a wave four and a wave five. Textbook target for the wave five is the 2.618 extension, but it can vary and it really depends on how Mm, strong the third wave is okay because then i can really only calculate a target for you for the wave five as soon as i have the the wave three and the wave four in based on that we can calculate a target for the wave five but it should ideally go below the low of this wave three circle wave three yeah so ideally a little below 50 cents um that's at least a likely scenario on the very very short term time frame Things can change quickly here and I will not rule out that Matic has already bottomed. However, as long as I cannot see an impulse to the upside followed by a three wave pullback to the downside. I mean, this can always be a diagonal to the upside, yeah. But unless I see an, a corrective move to the downside, um, I'm not gonna confirm a trend change here. Um, just be aware, I already added a little bit on the Saturday um, on the Matic chart, yeah, bought a small position but is you know i don't have a confirmation of a trend change yet um it would really need to break first above 71 and then better 79 cents because this is exactly where the fear started yeah you can see the volume when the sell off candles started here um if i go to the four hour chart it's with this high here yeah. straight away after that you saw the breakdown so i want to see price head above that and I think should be some stop set above that for short sellers, right? And if price breaks through, it could shake them out and lead to quite a bit of a rally. We'll see. At the moment, um, I'm still counting this as a possible overall bullish scenario. As explained, 
can be counted as a wave one, then an A wave down, overshooting B wave and the C wave down, which again might get a little bit of a squiggle lower. If we get a decent move to the upside, we need to be watching, is it already a rally? Yeah, and have we already bottomed or is it just a wave four and we get one more low? Um, there will always be that alternative of one more low until we see an impulse to the upside, but I give my best to update you with the latest structure. Um, important, Important support on the chart is 48.5 cents. It is the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. If price gets a sustained break below that, we may have to emphasize more a bearish structure and that price will also drop below the June low, which was at 32 cents. But technically, as long as 32 cents isn't broken to the downside, price still has a chance to rally in a third wave to $3 and beyond. But always be, bear in mind that I have to um, to really confirm a third wave is running. I need to see a possible reversal. And at the moment, I just don't see it at this stage. Okay, so again, analysis is always based on evidence. Okay, that's my update about Medic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.